Hi there. Today I'm not playing with old stuff. Today I'm playing with pretty new stuff. These are 100 gigabit optical transceivers. They are defective and I will take it apart and let's see how they work. Both transceivers have a speed of 100 gigabit per second and you can see this is a view of the first one. Uh, it takes a special cable that has actually eight individual uh, fibers. You can see the eight outputs here between the two pins there. There are eight little lenses, four for transmit, four for receive. The other transceiver uses a normal LC uh, twin fiber uh, optical cable one that you are probably familiar with, but it still transmits uh, 4 times 25 gigabits per second per fiber and receives it too. And how that works, we will see in a second. The trick they use here is called wavelength division multiplexing. And that means basically you have four lasers. In our example here we have five lasers uh, with different wavelengths. They differ about 10 nanometers each, so they're all in the infrared uh, region. Then they use some sort of prism and optical system to uh, concentrate these different wavelengths into one fiber. And then on the receiver side they use the same prism to split the different wavelengths up, send them to four or five different pin diodes, that's a sort of photodiodes, and you have your electrical data again, split into four, or in this picture here, five different channels. This thing here is a wavelength division multiplexer from an old IBM uh, machine. Its date, uh, it dates about 1980s, early 90s. And uh, you can see it's huge, uh, but it does exactly the same thing. There are, I think, 16 fibers going in and one fiber at the center going out. That is with the multiplex signal. Here you can hardly see the fibers that go from this red fiber uh, hoses down to that silver part. Looks a little bit like spider webs. And here is another view, a detail view of this uh, device. You can see the fibers in the center of the image, also like parallel spider webs here. Then the beams from these fibers go through the, this hole here. There's a golden mirror with a tiny little hole. Uh, they go through that and then they pass the entire glass rod until to the other end. And then they hit the other end, which is also a golden mirror, which is slightly curved. And uh, they're bounced back and end into this one single output fiber. The demultiplexing then works in the same way. Each wavelength will be uh, deflected in a slightly different angle and hits exactly the output fiber or one of the 16 or 18 or 20 output fibers here. And in fact the whole tolerances here are so tight this unit has to be cooled in a with thermoelectric coolers to keep a constant temperature. Okay, let's see how they do it today with modern optics. A little surprise here, 
there are fiber optic cables inside the transceiver. It seems that the optic block is on the PCB and the rest is only some kind of fiber adapter to that optic block. And when this retainer clip here is removed, we can simply unplug that optical connector. Here is a closer view of the lenses. There are four lenses on the bottom and four on the top behind a reddish uh, filter. I think that's the transmitter diodes and those without the filter are the receiver diodes. Here you can see the electrical uh, connections to that block. And you can see the lower chip has, uh, there are two large golden pads with three uh, connectors each. So I think that's the power for the laser diodes, while the upper, upper chip is the receiver. Let's open the more interesting all-in-one fiber transceiver and let's see what optical wizardry happens inside that unit. The receiver and the transmitter block here look a little bit more expensive. They have a golden metal case. They have two uh, independent chips, one for transmit, one for receive. Uh, at the moment I can't say which one is which, but maybe we will find out in a moment. On the interface connector here you can see the smaller pins, they come in pairs. There are four uh, pairs for receive and four pairs for transmit. So each channel can be uh, used separately. Okay, let's hack the cover open. As I said, I'm not sure if this is the receiver or the transmitter. I think it's the receiver because the case is a little bit smaller and uh, the electronics inside is a, and also the optics is a little bit simpler. You can see the driver chip. It has four uh, sections for each, or the receiver chip. I don't know, I think it's the receiver chip. Uh, it has four sections for each pin diode. There is the input on the right side. You can see the lens. Then there is this trapezoid shaped uh, glass block. There is also a prism and uh, some sort of mirrors. And so you can hardly see what's every what everything is inside, but it looks very nice. There are also four cubes in a certain angle that probably help to separate the individual wavelengths. And this is the other box, which is a little bit harder to open. It seems they have laser welded the cover on it. So this is also a sign that it may uh, probably be the transmitter because uh, it needs more protection and probably also for thermal reasons it certainly gets a little bit hotter. 
whatever. I think that's the transmitter. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, tell it in the comments if you know better. <laughs>